All right, guys, welcome to theme two, the natural environment. The first section of this course is the volcanoes and earthquake section. So we're going to split this up into two parts. The first one, looking at all the theory and understanding that as much as possible. And then we can apply that to some case studies uh, afterwards in part two. The earthquake then, just quick definitions. Earthquake, then we see seismic waves, a result of the breaking up and fracturing of the Earth's crust and uh, resettling into a new location. Volcanoes then were seen the venting of volcanic material through uh, eruptions, right? So those are volcanoes and earthquakes. Don't worry, more detail is coming. So we have then the Earth's structure. Most students are very familiar with this already. We have uh, inner core, outer core, uh, mantle, and then a lithosphere. The key idea here is to think about it as the heat is coming from the core and it gets cooler as we go away from that. The asthenosphere then, uh, which is just beneath uh, our crust, that area is where we see uh, some motion happening. So it's an important word later. So we would see that it's kind of like semi hardened there. It's almost uh, completely hardened and is kind of able to cause friction. So if there's movement in around the asthenosphere, this can change things with the crust quite easily. The mantle then is this huge area where we see magma being churned around inside. And uh, yeah, crust comes in two sizes here. So we can see that it's broken up into different uh, plates, these black lines indicating us the boundaries between different plates. We see the pink uh, names there coming up, the Eurasian plate, North America plate, Nazca plate. So these are all crust, what we see at the top, top layer, okay? It's super thin, by the way. It wouldn't be this thick in comparison to the rest of the planet, it will be very, very thin indeed. So we are living on this thin crust and we can see some of it forms continents and then some of it is in the ocean. And we can also see the red dots that are around of active volcanoes. So this is showing us then that a lot of volcanoes do have a correlation with tectonic plate boundaries. We've got uh, two types of crust that we talk about. We've got the oceanic and the continental. The oceanic is thinner, the continental is thicker. However, the oceanic, while it's thinner, is denser. And then the continental overall is going to be less dense, even though it's thicker. So if you're having trouble uh, kind of thinking about what does that mean, uh, think about if you had an inflatable bed on a swimming pool, right? And you, you can lie on it, right? The idea is that there's a lot of mass but the density is still much lower than the water, right? Because there's air there that is less dense. So that keeps you afloat. Whereas if you were sitting on the, the bed and then suddenly you dropped your phone into the pool, what you'd find is the phone would sink down to the very bottom, right? Even though it's much smaller, it's denser. So it's going to sit lower. In that way, the oceanic crust, while it's smaller, is going to sit lower on the asthenosphere and the continental uh, crust is going to be uh, less dense, and it's going to sit slightly higher on the asthenosphere, even though it's bigger. All right. So another process we have to think about are convection currents. So what's going on is the heat from the mantle is causing the magma to rise inside. And as it reaches the top, it's then going to uh, cause the convection currents to move either side. And this is going to make it move in the direction of the convection currents. The magma then, as it's moving, is going to become more dense because it cools down. Again, we're talking about density. And this is going to cause it to return to the uh, core where it will heat up and go around again. So when you're starting off really any question about uh, tectonic plates, we would probably say things like, uh, yep, yeah, convection currents are the kind of beginning of the explanation, the first process to go through. All right, so what are the results of these uh, tectonic plate movements? Well, hey, as always, if that was useful, like, subscribe, and I'll be able to post more videos then. But also, if you want the rest of the content, follow the links below, and you should find what you're looking for. All right, good luck, guys.